This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. This episode, we are in San Diego, California. I have to apologize, it's been about a month and a half since the last episode. We started our tour. Um, my wife's brother got married. We had to go up for the wedding, and we've just been traveling, packing, and everything. It's been a little bit crazy. And then the tough part about traveling and doing these video casts is the fact that it's really difficult to find a location to film. I was at a school this morning um, doing a demonstration, and we had some time afterwards, and I thought it was looking really cool here. So I was like, hey, let's just film here. And so anyway, this episode, we're going to be doing some double dutch turning um, tricks. We'll be doing an over-the-head cross for the JV. The Varsity will be doing an EV cross, and we'll show you how to get into and out of those as well as how to do those with the jumper inside of the double dutch. The JV skill. For this episode, we're going to be doing an over-the-head cross while turning. I have uh, my beautiful wife, Alicia, is going to be helping me out with this. Um, she was on a previous episode, and I forgot to introduce her, so sorry. But this is Alicia, and she's going to be helping me out with this. We just finished up at a school um, here in San Diego. We're going to be doing uh, this trick. We do it in our shows, but we're just going to go ahead and explain how you do this. Now, the over-the-head cross, what you're going to be basically doing is you're going to be turning. One of the turners is going to turn cross over their head, they're going to be turning with their back to the other turner, turning like this, and then coming back out. Now the way this works um, is you're going to be basically picking which direction you want to go. You can either go left or right, it really doesn't matter, but depending on which way you go is going to determine which arm you're going to use and how you get into it. Now if I turn to my right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to bring it up to my head. Now the key here is that anytime you're turning double dutch is you never want to have your ropes cross over because if you do that you're going to mess up. So you want to make sure that you always keep the ropes separated like this. So what you have to do is as you're turning, I take this hand, I'm not going to pull it to this side of my body and then pull it over. What I'm going to do is keep this arm on this side of my body the whole time. So I take this, take my hand, I keep it on close to my body, bring it over, and then end up here. So the ropes are still separated and we're able to turn. Now to come back out, I do the same thing. I bring it up, keep it on this side of my body, come out, and end up back here. Now as we're turning to do this, I would just be turning. I'm going to go up, swing over, it happens kind of fast, and then back out. So one more time, I'd go from here, go up, turn, and back out. So once again, what we're doing, you're going to go here, you're going to pick if I go to my right. Now if I go to my left, it's going to be the exact same thing except with my right hand. So my right hand would be here. I'm going to turn, bring this hand up, come over, turn here, and you can turn as long as you want. Usually you only do it for a couple jumps and then come back out. And the rope that you count, if I'm going to go to my left, I would say, I would count pretty much when my right hand's down. I'm going to go ready, set, go. When it's down, I'm going to bring my hand up kind of quickly and then back out. So to practice it, you can just practice going here and here. The ropes should never cross over. And then once you do it with the turnings, if I go to my left this time, I'd go ready, set, go, turn, turn here, and back out. Now once you've got it just turning basically like that, you need to be able to do all these tricks with a jumper in there. So I have actually brought along Alicia's aunt, who is uh, here witnessing one of the shows today. And uh, this is Lynn. She's going to step in here and jump. Um, she's not a jump rope expert, actually. She was telling me she hasn't jumped she, since she was a little kid. So um, she's going to step in here and show that as from a jumping standpoint, she doesn't have to be a great jumper to do this if we're turning it correctly. So we're going to start turning. And she's still learning how to get into double dutch. I'm going to count her in. And if you're wanting to step into double dutch, you count the rope closest to the jumper. So if I'm counting here, I would count ready, set, go. She steps in and starts jumping. Now for me to go to the trick, I would count ready, set, go, turn here, and then come back out and jump. So she can step out. We'll go ready, set, go and she just steps out right in front so she heads out so from a turning standpoint all we want to make sure we do is that you turn nice and even alicia on her side she has to keep the ropes going nice and even watching the jumper because i can't see them anymore and she just has to turn nice and big and make sure the ropes are still hitting the ground so that she has room to jump while you're doing it and that's how you do the over the head cross inside double dutch the varsity skill For the varsity skill, we'll be doing an EB cross while turning. Now this trick is going to look like this. We'll be turning. Uh, I'm going to go into it, come around, turn here, and then 
jump out. Now, there's a couple ways to get um, out of this trick as well as kind of getting into it. Once again, any of these skills you can do left or to the right. I'm just going to do it to my left. And what we'll be doing is we'll be turning. I'm going to go ahead. And now to get into this, once again, you always want to make sure you never cross your ropes while you're getting into or out of any sort of turning skill. So I'm going to go here. What I'm going to do is take this hand, my right hand, if I'm turning to my left, is going to go behind my back. So I'm going to step here, bring this arm behind my back. This other arm is going to stay to the side as I start the turn. Then it's going to come up over my head, come down to the side, and I'm going to end up in this position right here. But I'll be facing here so I can turn. So you just continue turning. Now, in this turning position, I can do very little turning. So Alicia's going to have to do most of the turning while we're doing this skill. So once again, you're going to be going from here. You're going to turn, la la la, turn. This arm's going to go behind my back. This arm's going to come up, come around. Make sure that I never cross the ropes while I'm going into this. And this part's really tricky right here because if I'm just like this, I'm already crossing my hands. So I really have to make sure this hand stays really far this direction as I come around into this skill. So once more, just a quick walk through. It'll go up. This arm's going to come up. This one goes behind the back. Reach as far as I can this way, as far as I can this way. Come out, and then I'm going to turn. So to get into it, we'll just kind of go into there from turning. I'm going to count the, my right hand. Ready, set, go, turn and into there. So it's kind of a fast movement. You do want to practice that a few times. Now to get out of this skill, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, there's the easy way, then there's the jumping way. Now the easy way, what you do is you kind of just step out. So what I'm going to do is this rope that's coming along is hitting my left leg every time it comes around. What I'm going to do is every time that that rope is down, I'm just going to pick one leg up and swing it over. So I would come here, pick it up. It's going to go here, pick it up, and it comes out, and I'm back into the regular turning motion again. So I'll go back into that, to here, Swing under one, two, usually make it kind of fast. So that's one way to do it. Now, this is really hard to do if you have a jumper in there. So I'm not going to do that uh, when we get Lynn in here to jump again. I'm actually going to jump out of it because, especially with ropes this short, it's really difficult to control them if I'm just sort of swinging like that. If I'm doing it as a demo, I might do that sometimes so I don't have to take a jump. Now, if I'm taking a jump, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into it. And what I'm going to do from here is I have to jump over this rope all in one motion with both feet. So I'm going to count the rope as it comes down and go ready, set, on go. <laughs> I'll jump up both feet and just bring that hand out and I'm back into the regular turning motion again. So once again, you're from here. All you do is as it's coming down, you just bring both feet up real high. And this hand, you just go from behind your back. You just basically sweep it over and you're back out to regular turning. So we'll do that one more time. We'll go in around. Usually you take a couple turns and you can jump out. Now you can either do off both feet or if you notice with me, I usually just jump off one foot and you'll notice one foot goes higher than the other. I don't know why I do that. I just do. So that's how we do it. Now, once again, like we said with the JV skill, any type of um, turning trick like this, you always need a jumper in there. So Lynn's going to come back in and she's going to jump on this one. Now, like I said, we have really short ropes here. So from a jumping standpoint, this is a little bit more difficult for her and for Alicia because Alicia has to turn real big. And for me also, I can't slack at all as I'm going into this. So as I'm going into this, I have to make really big motions, especially with this arm, to make sure the rope actually goes over her head. So you'll see that as she's in here. So to get in, she'll go ready, set, go. She'll step in. I'm going to have her face me this time so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'll count this. Ready set, go, into the motion. And when that comes down, I jump over and we're back out. We'll do it one more time. I'll count, ready, set, go. Here, out, oh, we missed on the jump. We'll try it one more time, which is all right. We'll get in there one more time. We'll go ready, set, go. She'll step in and we'll go ready, set, go. Oh, we got a little bit too fast on that one. So you'll notice some of the mistakes we're making there. The first one, she got a little bit low on her jump as I was coming out. That time, um, I spun a little bit fast, so I was a little bit ahead of the ropes, which will make a mistake. Now, normally you wouldn't notice that if there was no jumper, but since she was in there, it kind of exaggerates any motions that I make that are wrong. So we'll go ready, set, go. She'll step in. Oh. That's all right. One more time. Like I said, she's still learning how to get into double dutch. She's a real trooper to help us out with this. Ready, set, go. We'll go in. Ready, set, go. In, jump, and out. And then she'll get out. Ready, set, go. And she'll step out. So anyway, that's how you do the EB inside of double dutch.
For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.